us praise Joachim and Anne, to whom in their generation the Lord gave him who was a blessing for all the nations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today is Monday, July 26th, the memorial of Saints Joachim and Anne. Our prayers and readings for Mass today will come from the memorial. Mass this morning is offered for the repose of the soul of Owen Shapusky. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Your word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, God of our fathers, who bestowed on Saints Joachim and Anne this grace, that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son. Grant through the prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of Sirach. Now will I praise those godly men, our ancestors, each in his own time. They were godly men, whose virtues have not been forgotten. Their wealth remains in their families, their heritage and their descendants. Through God's covenant with them, their family endures, their posterity for their sake. And for all time, their progeny will endure, their glory will never be blotted out. Their bodies are peacefully laid away, but their name lives on and on. At gatherings, their wisdom is retold, and the assembly proclaims their praise. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God will give him the throne of David, his father. God, God will, will give him the throne of David, David his father. The Lord swore to David a firm promise from which he will not withdraw. Your own offspring I will set upon your throne. God will give him the throne of David, his father. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He prefers her for his dwelling. Zion is my resting place forever. In her will I dwell, for I prefer her. God will give him the throne of David, his father. In her will I make a horn to sprout forth for David. I will place a lamp for my anointed. His enemies I will clothe with shame, but upon him my crown shall shine. God will give him the throne of David, his father. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. They yearned for the comforting of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested upon them. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Jesus said to his disciples, Blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people longed to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. On the 
memorial today is that of Saints Joachim and Anne, the parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary, grandparents of Jesus. Uh, Joachim and Anne have been a part of liturgical celebration. We've held them in memory for many, many centuries, uh, and devotion to them is particularly strong in the Eastern churches. Uh, and in fact, Joachim and Anne invoked in a similar way to how we do here, Joseph and Paul, uh, at the end of their divine liturgies. And it's an interesting sort of devotion and memorial, even that the New Testament doesn't have any particular uh, evidence, doesn't say anything about Joachim and Anne. Uh, all of what we know about them comes from documents outside of uh, Scripture, and one of them is called the Proto-Evangelium of James. Uh, and it's in that document that we get the names of Joachim and Anne uh, and some of the history about them, uh, members of one of the 12 tribes of Israel. And according to the uh, story, they were deeply grieved, Joachim and Anne, by their childlessness. And so they began to devote themselves to long periods of rigorous prayer and fasting. They regarded that their inability to conceive a child was a great misfortune uh, and brought shame upon them and upon their tribe. Uh, but as it turns out, the couple would be blessed. Uh, an angel revealed to Anne uh, and prophesied that all generations would honor her future child. After Mary's birth, it said that Anne made a sanctuary of uh, the baby Mary's room not allowing anything common, anything profane to enter in on account of the holiness of her child. Uh, and at Mary's one year birthday, uh, Joseph, or I'm sorry, Joachim had a great feast, uh, inviting all of the priests and scribes and elders to come and celebrate. Uh, and it was soon after that that they decided that Mary would be offered to God, uh, consecrated for the rest of her life. Uh, and later to enter into her chaste marriage with Joseph. So again, we don't know a lot about them, um, but what we can see in them, what we do know about them, uh, is an attentiveness to prayer, uh, a desire to make their home holy, uh, and a true desire to raise a faithful child. And all of these are certainly good reasons to call upon them for their intercession, perhaps especially for grandparents. Uh, and I just think here of the so many conversations I've had with grandparents who are experiencing a, a certain amount of sadness uh, that their grandchildren are not growing up in the faith. And I can speak even to my grandparents and the great sadness it was to them that some of my cousins uh, were never baptized. Uh, and, and they start to ask these questions like, what did we do wrong? Uh, there can be a real heaviness of heart that so many grandparents feel today. And it's with something of this in mind that Pope Francis this year uh, held yesterday, uh, the first World Day for Grandparents and the Elderly. Uh, a day to be celebrated moving forward on the fourth Sunday of July, the Sunday closest to today's memorial. Uh, and in preparation for the celebration yesterday, uh, he prepared a special message. He addressed it uh, to the, his elderly friends, is what he said. His elderly friends, and then he encouraged them. He said, because there is no retirement age from the work of proclaiming the gospel and handing down the traditions to your grandchildren, you must set out and undertake something new. So he's calling on grandparents, calling on the elderly to set out in a new way to proclaim Jesus Christ and the traditions of the faith. And he says this is particularly important now uh, as we come out collectively from this time of pandemic. He said, as I have often observed, we will not emerge from the present crisis as we were before, but either better or worse. And he calls upon, especially the elderly, uh, to be those who help us to emerge better than we were before. So we might follow Pope Francis's cue, we might call upon Saints Joachim and Anne today, especially for our grandparents and the elderly, and in a particular way for those uh, who have 
grown tired and sad under the burden of years, grown tired and sad that the faith is not alive in their children and grandchildren as it was for them, uh, that they might be built up in hope uh, and confidence uh, that the Lord can still work through them. Uh, pray for the intercessions, intercession of Joachim and Anne, uh, that they might take up this mission of proclaiming Jesus Christ and the faith with new zeal, with new confidence. Uh, we pray that we can all be like Joachim and Anne, attentive to prayer, desiring to make our homes holy, and desiring to raise up a faithful generation. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. With your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be Minister of this water and wine, when we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. O spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may your sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, we pray, O Lord, these offerings of our homage, and grant that we may merit a share in the same blessing which you promised to Abraham and his descendants, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. And with the of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits you crown your own gifts. By their way of life you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support. So that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saints Joachim and Anne, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and Andrew, his assistant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Keep me safe for eternal life. They received blessings from the Lord and mercy from God their Savior. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should be born from among humanity, so that by a wonderful mystery humanity might be born again from you, we pray that in your kindness you may sanctify by the spirit of adoption those you have fed with the bread you give your children. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just one reminder today, and that's that on Wednesday evening of this week, we'll have our next outdoor mass and picnic, 6 o'clock in the courtyard. If weather holds, followed by food and fellowship, we'll do the same thing inside if we need to, but outside would be awesome, so maybe a prayer for that. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the mass is ended. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Joachim and Anne, pray for us. Praise be Jesus Christ. Amen.